What's up, water signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I reach your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage for the water gods. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what's going down for the motherfucking weekend, baby. We are going to see your overall energies with you. And then we're going to find out what's going on between you and your love partner, possible outcomes. Okay. So Pisces, you already know how I do, baby. I'm going to start out with you. Let's see what's going down with you off top. Just get an overall energy in your atmosphere, darling. Pisces. Here we go. We got the Ace of Swords. Pisces, thoughts, ideas, intellectual stimulation. Pisces, I love it, babies. So you could be having some communication, some thoughts, some ideas that are coming to you now. Definitely some sort of intellectual um, new beginning, okay? Or it could be just the beginning overall, Pisces, with this Ace of Swords. But this to me is communicating, communicating to the world, to the people, okay? This is, oh, Pisces, darlings, you got to shine, baby. So for the weekend, some of you guys are going to be communicating. You're going to be letting your wild inhibitions run wild, baby, Okay, could be time to get your shine on. Some of you guys could be in the limelight, but it's just time to take control back into your life. And like I said, let your inhibitions run wild. So let's see what's going on between you and your partner, darling. You also have the nine of cups at the bottom of your deck. Uh-oh, Pisces. So happiness and bliss. Some of y'all could be overindulging too, but could be shopping, could be sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby. With this nine of cup energy here, but you got your shine on. This is really beautiful, Pisces. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner. All right. We got the three of swords in reversal. Someone's healing. Okay, you guys are both healing from each other. Could have been a third party situation that you were healing from with this three of swords. But off top, you know, healing is actually... I wonder if people have even thought about, you know, when you are healing in your lifetime, what it does to your frequency. Does it heighten it? Does it give it higher vibrations? I'm pretty sure it does, baby. But healing is probably one of the most beneficial things in the world. Okay, five of cups. Could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys are trying to let uh, a resolution come in with this judgment energy here. Okay, but I'm seeing with this judgment, it's time, Pisces. It's time for a rebirthing, an inner calling of some sort. It could be an absolution that some of you guys are in with this judgment energy here. I feel between you and your partner, um, there's definitely could be two different people or two different energies that you're dealing with. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, he's been popping up in you guys' is reading for quite some time. Someone feels like this won't be successful if they even do try to expand your way or come your way. Okay. But I feel like there was, there's a lot of uh, creative type of energy that this King of Wands is bringing. Okay. But also at the same time, he could have a hard issue with uh, making actions. Okay. But with this Ace of Wands, some of you guys are definitely not wanting to have sex or you're just not feeling very passionate between you and your partner. I feel like there's a lot of mysterious energy between you guys with this moon energy, Ace of Wands, okay, coming in reverse. And also with the Six of Wands, Pisces, 
I feel like somebody is not confident, like I said, in moving forward, okay? This person might have a hard time with uh, speaking, okay, communicating, but I feel some of y'all could be dealing with multiple energies here as well, Pisces. Uh, some of you guys already know, you're just going to cut this shit the fuck off. You got the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords between you and your partner. Some of you all could be, like I said, just healing away from something that you did cut off. All right. And gathering your uh, confidence back and talking, communicating, being chitty chatty, Kathy. OK, so I feel like I said, some of you all have disconnected from a partner or you're definitely healing here. Um, I feel with this Ten of Wands. A lot of you guys are just in your own happiness. OK, you're trying not to have any burden ships around you. Hermit energy as well. So definitely feeling confident and gaining some wisdom, some insight here. OK, I feel um, I feel some of you guys really already know that you're receiving tranquil energy downloads. I think I said this in the other video as well, Pisces, but you got the Ace of Wands. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor, okay? So you all could be dealing with someone older, okay? You guys have been dealing with this person for quite some time. If this is who I think it is, possible Aries as well. Um, but I feel with this Hermit energy, you guys are really just trying to find solutions, okay? Uh, some of y'all could be redecorating your homes, changing things around, could be just receiving a lot of money. Some of you guys are really on top of your motherfucking game, Pisces, straight like that, even if you have a partner or if you don't. You definitely could be dealing with an Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, high priestess energy here. So you guys already know what's up. Pisces, new beginnings coming in, but for some of you guys, you're feeling kind of alone. Try not to stay in this, you know, funk or that depressed mode because I feel like there's something coming along with this full energy very, very soon. OK, it could be a new journey, a new path, could be uh, a, a lot of spontaneity coming your way and apparent folly. OK, just keeping the faith towards a new beginning because you definitely got that here with this Ace of Pentacles. OK, and I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's definitely watching you. Uh, Prince of Wands, Prince of Swords. OK, Pisces. So y'all getting the same old, same old. So there's definitely something new that could be coming along or some of you guys are just taking on new opportunities that are falling along in your path, okay? Let's see what the rebel cards have to say. Because I do feel um, some of you guys, you already know a true to a situation. There could be somebody who's trying to hide away from communicating, but there's a lot of communication cards here, okay? So some of you guys could be just you know, planning on moving ahead, pushing forward. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. Oh, shit. It says fucking apologize. So seriously, just do it. So some of you all, this person might need to apologize to you or there could be some communication of someone coming in with an apology. If you don't expect that from that motherfucker, then it's saying, you know, just take some time to be for yourself. Focus on, um, you know, taking care of your own energy here. OK, now it's saying you have you eaten. Are you acting like a big ass baby? I know I be getting like that sometimes. Okay. If I haven't eaten, taken a nap, smoked my weed and done what I needed to do, Pisces, somebody about to get this wrapped, honey. <laughs> so I also feel it's saying that you need to do you. It's saying to put the phone down as well, Pisces. Um, but there are some things um, you all need to release and let go of is what I'm seeing here. So let's see about possible outcomes. To my Pisces, I do feel with that Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands here, there is a lot of communication popping out for you, okay? Now, with this Ten of Pentacles, Prince of Cups, you guys are on top of the money. Could be some financial uh, gains that you're earning here. Some of you are really just bored with your options. You've been getting this for quite some time. But with this Four of Cups, okay, some of you guys already know what it's time to do. You could just be sitting around waiting and thinking, trying to figure out what your next options are with this hangman energy. I feel somebody wants to come hang around. Could be some traveling that's involved as well. Possible Libra energy here with this justice. OK, so for some of you guys, there's going to be some things that are going to be justified this weekend. Pisces, there's going to be decisions that are made. I feel like uh, with this world energy could be things coming into completion with while you're sitting around and your thoughts and in your environment. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Here we go to my lovely Pisces for the motherfucking weekend. 
let's see what the romance angels are telling us. <laughs> All right. So far, we have your heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I felt that with the Ace of Swords and also with the Eight of Wands. So there could be someone who's coming back in to discuss their feelings. Okay, I also feel some of you all are dealing with someone you don't even want to put in too much effort. You don't want to give them too much of your time. There definitely could be some deception. Remember, we've seen that Seven of Swords. So be aware of someone who's definitely being dishonest about who they are. Okay, some of you all could have fallen out of love with someone and you're just not interested in anyone at the time. But at the bottom of the deck, some of you all could be really thinking about getting that passion back. Okay, Stella. So, passionate energy here, darling. Could be some love coming up towards the end of the weekend. Um, but I feel Pisces, a lot of you guys already know if you feel like something is disingenuous, you're not even going to give it any entertainment, especially with that Queen of Swords. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on to my lovely, lovely Cansadians. Here we go, babies. Let's see what's going on with you and your overall atmosphere for the weekend. Here we go. We got the Hermit energy. Okay, Eight of Wands. Also, Death energy here. So, wow. Some of you guys could be transforming. There could be a major communication and transformation here. Uh, now, I feel like what, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Scorpio that you're dealing with, but it could be in your overall environment that you are expecting a new beginning here, okay? Some of you guys are ready to trample over all of the bullshit, the old bullshit, and keep it pushing, okay? Some of you guys uh, could be changing your clothes, changing your outfits, thinking about what could make some changes here, okay? Destroying some things and then making it brand new, baby. Making a brand new world. So, joy and stability and teach. So, in your overall environment, Cancerians, there is joy coming in the morning, honey. Definitely some communication happening here. It could be a lesson. Some of you all could be teaching children or it could be uh, a lesson being learned as well. But I feel like this is you coming into your transformation, Cancerian. There is some joy here, darling, that you're going to, uh, you can't resist, okay? You can't resist the change that's happening. Some of you all could be faxing emails, okay, getting some information out there, especially with teaching is what I'm seeing here, Cancerians. So get your ass motherfucking ready. Some of you all are really understanding your confidence as well, okay? So let's see what's going on between you and your partner, darling. But there's some life lessons being learned here, Cancerians. Between you and your partner, possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Empress energy. I feel like some of you Cancerians are keeping your options open with the Seven of Cups, okay? Or someone was being very greedy with keeping their options open. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Uh, for some of you guys, now this person might be all about them motherfucking selves, okay? There were some things that were justified. I feel with the Three of Sword energy, also the Justice energy, you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Gemini Aquarius, but I feel this was an opportunity that you know you needed to miss or there was something that was justified here that you missed out on, somebody who could have been serving you some uh, piping hot tea uh, very, very soon. Could have been someone, could have been someone who's, um, you know, serving some papers possibly as well, Cancerian, but I feel with this justice energy, some of you guys are dealing with already understanding the truth between you and your partner. I feel like you guys have left this person in the dust, honey. Now, could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, all right? I feel some of you guys already know your power up in this motherfucker, okay? Some of you all could have let this person drown and you could have just been, you could have changed your numbers, changed your address, changed all kinds of shit, Cancerian, not really trying to give your heart too much especially if this person gave you the experience of not really being um, a nurturer or a person who was uh, catering to your needs here, okay? I have the Ace of Cups, Six of Cups energy. Some of you all are contemplating dealing with someone from the past as well. Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, all right now. You also have the Nine of Swords right next to it. So there could be somebody who's really having anxiety towards putting their best foot forward, uh, but you're leaving away from that. Okay, there's definitely something that you guys understand that's in your power at this point in time that you're having to withdraw from and leave away from, okay? So definitely leaving away, you could be taking a trip, you could be traveling as well, but there's 
some sort of um, anxiety that you guys are really thinking about in love could be with someone from the past or someone that gives you a lot of memories as well. Ten of pentacles up in this bitch, Cancerians, and also the sun energy here. So it's looking really beautiful. Some of you guys are kind of standing in your hurt between you and your partner, but I feel you're trying to call away from your soulmate connection. You wanted to see other things, okay? Some of you guys could be very critical to your connection. Could be a lot of differences between you guys. But I feel for the weekend, um, a lot of you guys have love coming up. Lovers energy could be a Gemini. Let's see what the rebel cards have to say. All right, we got, you look like a shit show, okay? You're a hot mess. Fact, clean yourself up, okay? So, Cancetians, if you feel like this person might be a hot mess, because I don't think this is my Cancetians now. If it is, honey, we're going to have to get on the right train now, okay? So, if some of you guys feel like this is a shit show in your love life or in your romance, I feel some of you guys are tuning some shit up, laughing it up, okay? Getting it on the right track. Getting to a new vibration is what I'm seeing here. It says, where the fuck is your sense of humor, Cansadians? So some of y'all need to laugh. You could be getting some laughs, watching some comedy, okay? Or some of you guys are just going to be feeling those cheeks hurt with laughing, okay? Loosen up, tighten up, also making it rain on them hoes. So there could be some money happening this weekend. Cansadians as popping up in your direction. That's probably what that Ten of Pentacles is all about. But try not to be too critical about love and situations, some of you all, I feel you're not really impressed with what people are giving you. So you're kind of just, you know, taking it one day at a time. So let's see about possible outcomes to my Cancerians. We got the King of Cups, the Herald Font, the Page of Swords, all oh shit, and the Seven of Swords, Cancerians. All right, somebody is definitely um, tiptoeing, could be planning a trip somewhere. Okay, or someone is definitely spying, watching you like motherfucking Netflix, Cancerian. Someone also could be really thinking about their emotions and how they left some emotions behind between a relationship that couldn't possibly work out. Or you could look at it this way. There could be somebody that's in your surrounding energy that's trying to control some things, but also detach themselves. Um, or they have detached possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But with this tower energy, they're kind of being a little bit explosive here and changing up the scenario and changing up uh the motive but with the full energy now some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who's bringing on a lot of spontaneity a lot of new beginnings okay a lot of faith that's going to be coming into play for you can i feel that there's uh somebody who's really thinking about player like energy if you're trying to avoid that and steer away from that i see that you are okay definitely could be two different energies that you're dealing with king of pentacles also king of wands can and knight of swords <laughs> So someone is kind of coming in a little angry or a little upset is what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys are definitely uh, making somebody all up in their feelings with that Knight of Swords. Okay. could be because you have two different options or you're ready to just focus. could be somebody who's all about their business. Also, somebody who's very creative that you're dealing with. Like I said, three different energies here, Kansetti. And so get your ass ready, baby. All right. Um, I do feel that there is somebody who's letting go. There could be a new beginning that's getting ready to transpire with this Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. All right. Everyone is pretty much getting a lot of overindulgent cards. So some of you guys could be drinking, smoking. OK, uh, doing what you do, but on the low, low. But there's definitely someone who's going to be uh, happy in their passion here. OK, so let's see what the romance angels have to say to my Cancerians for the weekend. Here we go. So far, we got express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture, Cancerian. So express your love, make that romantic gesture. And some of you also could be dealing with somebody that you need to give a relationship a chance, or there's someone who's really thinking of their partnership, okay? Um, I feel some of you guys feel like you don't even want to work on that shit, but you're going to have to decide whether or not you're going to be moving on, moving forward, moving back. What we doing here, Kent Sadie? What we doing, babies? What we going to be doing? We moving forward. We going to the back, okay? Because we can't go back. We can't backtrack. 
we moving forward is what it looked like to me. Some of you all already know that there's a relationship that you need to leave behind and that they weren't giving you any satisfaction, okay? Because I have love yourself first, all right? Some of you all can be taking care of yourself first, getting your hair done, your nails done, okay? Going to the doctor, doing what you got to do, taking your vitamins and shit. But it's saying you're going to have to decide what you want very, very soon, Cancerians. Okay, I love my Cancerians. Let's see what's going on with my Scorpio darlings for the weekend. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. It's also saying some shit going down at your job, Cancerians. So it could be a good thing because you did have to make it rain on them hoes. Okay, so get your ass ready. Here we go, Scorpios. All right. We're going to get the overall environments and energies for my Scorpios for the motherfucking weekend. Thank you to everybody who timestamps too. You guys are fucking dope. Queen of Cups, baby. Okay, Eight of Cups. I love it, Scorpios. You guys are leaving some things behind. Okay, you are waiting for your ships to come in. You are leaving things in the dust, honey. Could be uh, for some of you guys, you're just controlling your emotions. You feel happy in your essence here. Some of y'all just might have a drink in your cup. You might also could be just leaving some old habits behind as well, too. Um, but I feel with this eight of cups, some of you Scorpios are using your intuition to pull forward. Um, even if there are some challenging times, you're using your timing here to make sure that you leave at the right motherfucking moment. OK, so this is definitely in your environment. For some of you guys, you definitely could be dealing with um, something that you're having to take the lead. Like I said, you're calling the shots up in this motherfucker, baby. It's things that you're listening to with your intuition, okay? There could be some leadership, some things like that you're definitely uh, inquiring about with this Queen of Cups. Also, High Priestess here at the bottom of the deck, so definitely catching shit before it happens, okay? You know, and that that's so raven type of shit. But I feel with, uh, for some of you guys, there's a lot of things you're contemplating and thinking about, okay? Could be some investments, could be real estate, could be your family, things over the weekend. I feel you you know what you need to put into fruition. Some of you guys could be keeping your options open here as well, too. So let's see what's going on for the motherfucking weekend between you and your partner. But I feel there's somebody who's listening to a lot of their spiritual guides. Y'all already know what the fuck is up. Scorpio, okay. So, shit, all of that wanted to come out. Wow. All right, so far here, yeah, darlings, Ace of Cups between you and your partner. So, it could be a love, a romantic offer. Some of you guys have romance surrounded by you, baby. Could be some uh, love with your family from other people. However, the case may be, it's love, baby. And it better be motherfucking genuine. Some of you guys could be analyzing a situation, though, that uh, you feel is not really uh, quite the contrary with this Hierophant. Also, the Emperor in reverse. You could be dealing with someone who has their own business or someone um, who's definitely calling the shots here. But they have some financial issues or someone could be having financial issues between you and your partner or just overall what they think a relationship or a value is here in love. OK, so. I feel uh, someone definitely has anxiety here as well. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You've got two cards um, of cups, okay? Uh, Page of Cups, also King of Cups. I feel somebody is afraid to offer something to someone with this Nine of Swords right next to the Page of Cups, the King of Cups, okay? But they're also wanting to come in and just make a small, slight offer. Just seeing the judgment too as well, Scorpio. So some of you guys, this person could be just like always judging your character, or some of you guys are ready to start something new and a new foundation with this four of wands energy. This is very good, but it seems kind of scattered. I feel like there's something you guys are understanding that you're coming to in an absolution with your inner calling. Okay. I feel somebody is definitely needing, try, trying to understand their authority. Okay. Someone is trying to gather their, uh, their overall empire. Okay. Some of you guys are trying to understand what it is when it comes down to your intuition and utilizing that shit. You got the devil energy here, also the four of swords, okay? So I feel someone's taking a break. They know that there's some things that's toxic. You definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Um, with that devil energy, but there could be some obsessive behaviors, like I said, that you guys 
you don't even want to entertain anymore. But some of you guys are still kind of in your head about it. Yeah, there's that judgment energy, also five of swords. So there could be somebody who's playing a lot of mind games, okay? With that five of swords, also with that judgment, it could be that your needings have to understand your inner calling between what's going on with you and your partner. If you're being Captain save -a okay, because somebody's mind isn't right or somebody is definitely playing mind games, it's definitely trying to move the fuck on. Let's get the rebel cards, get some realness up in this bitch. Here we go. To my Scorpios. Here we go. We got, you need a good fucking cry, Scorpio. Get the ugly cry on, let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. So some of y'all need to fucking cry, okay? Some of you all need to quit holding that shit inside, Scorpio. It says, don't believe every shitty little thought that you have, okay? Those thoughts could be sneaky lying bastards. So you could be just shedding, shedding a lot of emotional um, under appreciation, Shedding a lot, okay, Scorpio. I feel if you think someone is definitely lying, they are. Okay, so that's probably why that five of sword energy is here and that judgment as well, too. You're giving way too many fucks. Some of you all just need to take a fucking break and have a nice shoulder to cry on, or lay your ass the fuck down with this four of swords and sit down and rest and heal. Okay, so let's get some possible outcomes for my Scorpios. Here we go. Possible outcomes. We got the seven of wands, the king of swords. A lot of you guys are just detaching yourself, okay? Keeping things hidden. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius that has himself blocked off, okay? Well, definitely detached here. Possible Pisces too. For some of you guys with this Pisces energy, you guys, are, you guys could be juggling two different things, but some of you all just need to take a break, need to sit down, okay? With this death energy here, someone probably wants to come into some sort of renewal here, but this is you guys with this death energy, okay? With that death, I feel there could be a lot of uh, transitions that you're coming out of with juggling multiple people or multiple things in your environment, okay? That you're having to call the shots on, Scorpio darlings. Now, Paige of Swords, who is this? Okay, someone could be watching you like Netflix, okay? Also could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You guys have had this going on like four months, okay? Or there's definitely been about, it's been going on a few years here, darling. Uh, but I feel there's definitely someone who wants a new beginning with the star energy. Could be an Aquarian, also six of pentacle energy here. So some of you guys are getting some inspiration, some generosity. Somebody is coming in to try to fulfill you for sure, okay? So let's get the romance angels could be a renewal of some sort coming in. Could be financial matters. Could be family. Okay, legacy money. Taking care of bills here as well, too. You can look at it so many ways. Okay, uh, all right. So we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. So some of y'all might be Muslim. You might be into Wicca. You might be into, uh, you might be a Christian. I don't know. Shit. It's all kinds of shit. You might be Buddhist, Christian, and uh, Wicca. I don't know. But there could be some things that might be hindering you from certain relationships um, or cultural differences between you and your person naturally, okay? Playfulness here as well, okay? So there could be some inner romance you need to recapture as someone's trying to recapture with you. Could be taking some time to get some nice, simple thoughts and alone time with each other. But with this passionate energy here, baby, it might be kind of steamy and hot, as well too so get your ass ready scorpios one more some of y'all could be dealing with the separation as well so keep an open mind about that it might be time from your partner that's on the horizon okay and it's also saying to keep an open mind scorpios for the motherfucking weekend i love you guys you got attraction at the bottom of the deck too scorpios i'm going to get on out of here if you need to get a personal reading from me hit that motherfucking description box down below Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace. And check out my four questions for $25 for the weekend. I love you guys.